This course will enable you to understand the maths and physics of the atmosphere, the weather and the climate. You'll learn a wide variety of techniques for understanding physical mechanisms, modelling them, analysing data. You should have a good first degree with a strong quantitative component. For example, a degree in maths, physics, engineering or natural sciences and have done quite a bit of vector calculus and differential equations. The core of the programme will give you a really solid foundation in the maths and statistical analysis of data to do with weather and climate. With that you can do a wide variety of options to shape the programme to your interests and ambitions, for example on the applied maths side or on the statistics side or even do modules in policy. And finally, in the programme, you take a 60 credit dissertation. So you have a chance to study an area of interest with an expert in the field. Exeter is one of the leading UK institutions for mathematical analysis of weather and climate. We've got scientists who are part funded by the Met Office. We've also got scientists who are leading authors on the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change reports, who are top international experts on climate change and how to tackle it. All this expertise is there for you to tap into during the degree, when you can work one-to-one -one with an expert in the field on a topic of your choice. I really enjoy teaching on this course because I like seeing how the mathematics can explain the physics we see and how the physics we see, the atmosphere, the oceans, generate really important and interesting mathematical problems. When you graduate from this course, you'll have learnt about a whole range of important physical phenomena. You'll have a wide range of tools to take to your next career destination. And that could be in understanding the weather and climate. It could be in environmental modelling, pollution, engineering, a whole range of topics where you can use those tools and develop your career ambitions.